Um, all right, today is the February 18th President's Day meeting where we may or may not have lost our presenter. Hopefully we do get a Brian. Um, but Volker, go ahead and give us a, a mini update. Uh, I've created a small tool. I posted in the chat and put into the, the uh, notes, which is useful for everyone in the IPLD world, where you can basically describe your DAG in a text file, and then you can insert it into IPLD. Could need JavaScript only, but you can probably just make it somehow work with uh, Go IPLD as well. The point is that if you try to test out some DAG, it's always a problem. How do you create this DAG? And yeah, and probably everyone or many people here have already built their own tools. And I hope to basically finally have a tool that everyone can use. Um, yeah, that's all. Very cool. Thanks for the update. Anyone else? Any updates from the world? Go ahead, Michelle. Uh, there is a subset. There are a few of us going to Code for Lib in um, San Jose this week. Uh, so if anyone else knows anyone who will be there, uh, let me know or let someone know and we can connect. Code for Lib is um, a big yearly get together for folks who code for libraries. Uh, so it's folks who do like large infrastructure work. Think of like, how the heck do you get Stanford libraries to actually connect with all the different things? Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to doing some user discovery there and talk to folks about um, our projects. Very cool. Anyone else have anything really cool they want to demo? Demos are great. We should always have more demos. Well, my, my communication with Brian is limited to Twitter DMing him. It doesn't seem to be working super well. So I think in about three more minutes, we're going to call it quits for the day and give you guys the rest of rest of your Monday back. So if anyone wants to use our remaining three minutes wisely, the, the floor is yours. Hey, Molly. Go Molly, this is Jay Carpenter. Hey, Jay. How's it going? Good. I just wanted to um, highlight a little something I put into the notes, which is this weekend is the Global Legal Hackathon. And I'm going to be participating in that at Arizona State University, Sondra Day O'Connor College of Law. And I'm going to be highlighting a um, method of in adding encrypted files to IPFS uh, using multi-signature uh, constructs so that uh, files, it, it might be a new way to approach legal documents and also new opportunities for the legal community to add sort of like escrow and trust uh, multi-signature functionality to uh, to the whole legal community. So um, if anybody's interested in that, I put my contact information in there and they're welcome to contact me for updates and whatever. Sounds great. Awesome. And I know that back in the day we used to do introductions and I'm fairly new, Go for but it. would anyone, I mean, I'm excited about seeing what everyone else is doing and getting sort of an idea of who's working on what in general. But do you think that, that would everyone be okay with maybe doing a quick round the the call and doing a quick introduction? Let's do it. Why not? If you if you are willing to, we'll we'll just kind of walk through an order, but feel free to also just like wave if you don't want to talk. That's fine. Um, I can start. I'm Molly. I work on IPFS, um, product manager, um, kind of across a number of working groups, but spend a lot of time on Go IPFS and local offline communication and collaboration. Volker, you wanna go next? So um, I work on IPLD on the JavaScript side. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Very nice. Hugo, you wanna chat? Yeah. Uh, I also mo uh, I'm on uh, the JS side. I work uh, on JS IPFS and lib uh, Basically, I'm working between the JS core working group and uh, in browsers working group. Awesome. 
Chowder, did you want to, or whatever, your, your, your uh, nickname is Chowder. Would you like oh, to yeah. introduce yourself? So, uh, my name is Abik, recent graduate from Arizona State, so also going to be seeing Jay at the Global Legal Hackathon. But primarily into wearables and sort of those kinds of Internet of Things technologies. So, thinking about how IPFS is great at like terabyte data sets, but generating those terabyte data sets for every person. So how to sort of structure that for yourself and also in a distributed fashion, structure that where you own your own data and your processing and then other people can own their own data and processing from their private sources. And yeah, that's sort of what I'm excited about. Cool, welcome Abek. Jim, you wanna give an intro? Um, sure. sure my oh, I'm um, I work uh, on PeerPad and PeerBase which is sort of like CRDTs that works together with the IPFS, part of the IPFS team. And uh, I'm based in Vancouver, but I'm in Portland, Oregon today. So I'm awesome. fun here. Jay, do you want to give an intro? Sure. My name is Jay Carpenter, and I've been uh, following uh, the protocol labs and IPFS uh, developments since almost since the inception. And I come from naming, addressing, and numbering in the telecom space. And I'm very interested in naming, addressing, numbering, and identity. And I also run uh, Desert Blockchain here in Phoenix, Arizona. We have over 1,700 members. And we definitely uh, are IPFS and Protocol Lab fans. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for running that. Jacob, do you want to chat? Sure. I'm Jacob. I work on the JS side of things and currently on the libp2p team. That's it. Cool. Lytle? I'm putting IPFS in your web browser. <laughs> Namely, I'm uh, maintaining a browser extension, IPFS Companion. And uh, yeah, and I think that's in the web browser is interesting to me. Phenomenal. Thank you for all your hard work there. Daniel, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Daniel. I'm calling you from Indonesia, where it's now 12 a.m. Uh, so I'm over here. I'm the CTO of uh, Dana Cheetah, a student loans company. Um, but I think it's been a long time. Crud, crud apps is pretty boring. Uh, so we really, really want to like, just explore more in the space. Bali, we were in CS147 together. Long time ago. <laughs> I know. Crazy how these things reconnect. <laughs> yeah. Johnny, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so um, my real name is Jonathan Holt. So I'm actually a doctor by training, a clinical geneticist. Um, I also have Stanford connections. I was on faculty as a physician at Stanford back in the day. Um, but I, I did further training in clinical genetics. So I was on staff at uh, Kaiser Permanente for a while before going to Vanderbilt and doing my master's in biomedical informatics. Uh, so I do a lot of algorithm development for using bioinformatics. I have a company that does... Uh, Sequencing, uh, next-gen sequencing, mostly of food testing for provenance of uh, track and trace and authenticity of the supply chain management. And then my own company is Transcendex, which is an interoperability, for, mostly for healthcare. So cryptographic identity uh, is uh, core to that, as well as the verification of the authenticity of health records. Um, I think this early days for healthcare uh, for cryptography. So one of the use cases right now is in digital rights management. So I'm an advisor to a company called Blust in Australia that does uh, content distribution for uh, movies um, and the digital rights man management associated with that. And I'm an, an advisor to a half dozen other companies as well as an investor. Wow, sounds like it I don't, pra very I don't busy. practice any much anymore. Hi. I could imagine it'd be hard to find time. That's a ton of things to advise. It's amazing. Michelle, do you want to give an update intro? Sure. Oh, I'm the only Michelle on this call right now. That's pretty awesome. We have a lot of Michelles in our space. So you might also hear me referred to as megahertz or uh, GitHub. It's Michi, Michelle. But uh, I work on IPFS. I'm helping build out our user-centered design practice. I also, um, I used to work at NOAA doing uh, international state, uh, data exchange stuff. And so my particular specialty in all that is like a large data stewardship and how the heck we're gonna do that across our new distributed lives that we'll have 
uh, yeah, good enough. Oh, also I'm based in Tucson, Arizona for some of your Arizona connections. Um, I'm right down the road and we should connect. Uh, I travel a lot though, so yeah, we'll work it out. <laughs> awesome. Ollie, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, shit me. Uh, I'm Ollie Ziller. I used to mainly spend my time with Lidl putting IPFS into web browsers. And now I mainly spend my time using IPFS in web browsers to build out the web UI and IPFS desktop, which in case you haven't seen it, looks like this kind of thing. It runs in your, in your desktop and it's great. And it shows you stats and lets you see connected peers, shows you what files you've got. Oh yeah, there's some files. Uh, let's change your settings. Oh my God. And just for Volker, uh, it lets you explore IPLD as well. And one day it'll do an even better job as soon as that hot new API lands. Um, uh, we're about to release 0.7 of desktop. That's some exciting news, um, which now includes signing from both Apple and Windows. So that's one fewer errors on your install process. Um, and lots of other things, uh, both uh, the IPFS web UI uh, is about to have a hot new release of 2.5 and that's got a bunch of fixes to file management and stuff like that. Anyway, if you're interested in that, come to the IPFS GUI repo and say hi. That's awesome. All. Thank you. And I'm so glad we got a demo in. That's amazing. All right. Um, we're down to the last couple. Steven, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Steven. You probably can't see me because it's backlight, but uh, I work on GoIPFS, uh, a bit of GoWP, WP, and that kind of stuff as well. Um, yeah. Awesome. And uh, I think we have a Dean and then Alan, and then we're good, right? Dean, do you want to go? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm working mostly on uh, how to make um, sort of collaborations or data that's that's out there in our distributed system uh, versionable. Um, so like working on uh, a versioned type of IPNS or, or that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Very cool. Alan, are you in a place where you can introduce I yourself? I am in a place. Huzzah. Yes, hi, hello, uh, I'm Alan. I work on IPFS. I am the lead maintainer for JS IPFS, the, uh, and um, I am making the world better by building the JavaScript implementation of IPFS so that people can use IPFS in their own web browsers. Uh, if you're interested in JS core development uh, of IPFS, then there is a JS core dev team weekly sync, which happens right after this call. So you should come along. Um, I uh, like shiny things. I have a short attention span, and um, and I also like monkeys. And he writes the best release notes of anyone in the IPFS project with so <laughs> many emojis. It's awesome. Bringing the the emoji game. Awesome, cool. Well, we have we have done intros. We we know each other all a little bit better now. Has that percolated any questions or discussion topics for anyone? Go ahead, Johnny. I was going to ask how Johnny sleeps, but he has something he wants to say anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so constantly my, working. My, my nickname for, oh, is, is Johnny Crunch, and it comes from uh, undergrad and medical school, because I had this crazy ability to just crunch for any exam and ace it. And so I don't do that anymore. And so now, actually, I really enjoy my sleep, and I get two kids. And so like, and I don't get as much sleep as I want to, but I'm still in this chronic sleep deficit. But my question, because I'm, I'm notorious for my, or infamous for my questioning, is, <laughs> is uh, about the state of IPLD. And I, so I, I, li listening in, there's the, the IPLD prime. And I was wondering, Steve, Steven, um, you know, or, or uh, uh, Jacob, could you talk about, you know, what's the status of like, you know, the next version of IPLD? And is, is there anything, any, not really announcements, but just like, a roadmap, perhaps. Uh, so I feel the prime is just a new set of interfaces for Go uh, for making it uh, pleasant to work with. We don't currently have any plans for like next version of like additional types and stuff. That at the moment, I believe is, I think we're, we've decided that we want to build that on top of like an IPLD data structure system uh, so that we don't like hold
fold back the current system because of all these fancy feature things we want. Now, what about um, resolving IPNS directly to IPLD or the possibility of actually of resolving it with the, right directly within the browser? Uh, you sh this on Go, you can now resolve IPLD, or sorry, IPNS to IPLD. Um, in JavaScript, I don't think they support the slash IPLD prefix yet. Okay, so just like uh, feature parity is it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I think Although, you know, it might just work. I'm not sure. Because it's certainly from a, like I'm heavily relying on IPLD, and and uh, there's actually a lot of um, uh, traction right now with uh, multi codecs, multi bases, and actually in W3C now since it's actually with working with through the IETF, and there's more. Um, uh, weight uh, of the standards uh, going through the standards process. Um, there's still a lot of pushback right now with, and you've probably seen the issues that I filed of at context resolving through an IPLD link. And this, this, this struggle is the W3C wants it to be a, um, a URI, URI, valid URI. So it's uh, IPFS colon slash slash. Well, that doesn't actually work for IPLD. So there, I don't want to publish it to IPFS because actually it could, that that's not deterministic JSON, you know, Cibarized yep. JSON. You really want it to be deterministic. I so I think um, so we need to reserve the IPLD colon slash slash. Yeah, that that would be nice. And I think and that actually make it traversable through natively within IPLD. So rather than just a slash, um, which I know the origins of the Linux origins for the, the reason for the slash and all the the history of that, but if it actually can be also an IP of IPLD colon slash slash string that is, is at par with a slash and valid, that yep. makes it valid uh, JSON LD, it makes it valid IPLD and everything just works in an end is all um, uh, deterministic and uh, uh, cryptographically verifiable. Yeah, I believe the current stance is just do both. Basically anything that is slash uh, proto or sorry, um, slash namespace slash something else should also be usable as like, or namespace colon slash slash something else. Yeah, but yeah. So maybe I can just file an issue and, and give that recommendation. That, that would be great. Yep. Okay, all right. I'll do that with the IPLD uh, repo. Thank you. The IPLD slash specs, probably. Okay, all right. uh, IPLD specs, Roger. Yep. Very good question. I also saw a question from Daniel kind of about how, how or where to get involved in the community. Um, and I think you found the first correct place, which is this is a great place to join for you know, staying up to touch with the stuff happening. We tend to have presentations from people who are building on top of IPFS, sharing their own best practices, um, showing how they've done the projects that they're working on, um, and kind of sharing about things. There's also a ton of various working groups in the IPFS space that focus on kind of different subsets of problems. So we have the JS IPFS team, we have the Go IPFS team, which as you can probably guess are kind of language focused core implementations of IPFS. Um, we also have a number of kind of more interest area working groups or like focus area. So um, web browsers as Lytle was talking about that's focused on getting IPFS into uh, to web browsers. GUI as Ollie was mentioning that's um, thinking about all of the wonderful beautiful UIs uh, on top of IPFS that allow you to interact with things and um, kind of introspect what IPFS is doing more effectively. Barry and Michelle was talking about with decentralized data stewardship to make IPFS work for large data sets. Um, so it kind of depends on, on your focus area. These are all listed if you go to, I believe it's IPFS slash team management. Um, it'll list out kind of all of the working group structures, the captains, the repos, the things they focus on. So give that one a read through. And, um, and that should give you some, a place to, to get started in focusing on a working group that you'd be psyched about. Cool. Thanks, Any Mark. Other? Yeah, no problem. We're, we're actually now one minute away from time. So any other final questions? Awesome, cool. Well, well then let's call it for a day. Thank you all for making such productive use of, of our extra time and have a great rest of your Monday. Or Tuesday, Bye, Daniel, for who it's Bye, <laughs>